the novella from the Dark Protectors, which was a um, it's a dark paranormal uh, mm -hmm. romance series with vampires and shifters. And from the very first book, there were ten books. Um, there was a guy in the in the books called Charlton, and he was a computer guru and kind of an assassin. And so mm -hmm. I, I thought it was time for him to get a happy story. So he goes out on a mission and. Um, he tries to stop a journalist from printing stories about vampires, and she's very spunky and smart, and they fall in love. It's a, a coalition of vampire shifters and witches who um, are immortal but try to stay out of the way of humans, mm -hmm. and they're all, they're all pretty tough. Okay, well, the vampires actually don't need to take blood. Um, they do in extreme situations. And the vampires are male only. So they do meet up with female humans because that's how they find their mates. Well, I love Supernatural, the, the TV yes. show. Um, mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I just started watching The Vampire Diaries. I mean, like two weeks ago, we got Netflix and um, I started watching that and I really like it. it yeah. It's an interesting character study of how you can take someone who's probably good deep down, but they do horrible things and still yeah. like that character. So mm -hmm. I've been trying to figure out why I like Damon, and I think I'm twisted. Because <laughs> so I mean, he is not a nice guy. Um, I read Laura Adrian, and I read Alexander Ivy and Cynthia Eden, yeah. and Larissa Ione. I mean, I could keep going. But yeah, I read, um, I love her. I really love the paranormal, you know, and I keep hearing that, you know, the market is a little soft, but I read everyone I can get my hands on. So I right. think I'm a typical reader. My biggest pet peeve when it comes to writing mm. is uh, um, usually someone eating something crunchy around me when I'm trying to write. <laughs> I, uh, I can't stand it, I, and especially corn nuts. If somebody's eating corn nuts around me at any time, I lose it a little bit, a lot. I lose it a lot.